Hello everybody. Today I wanted to do a short video on the NDS 12 inch by 12 inch catch basin kit. I uh, have bought a number of these recently and was looking on how to do the attachments uh, to a four inch corrugated drain hose. And uh, a couple of things about it were not immediately clear to me. I did a bunch of research uh, on the internet and really couldn't find a good answer. So inside of this kit, uh, it comes uh, additionally with two uh, universal outlets or the NDS part number 1244 uh, and specifically we want to understand uh, how to attach those to, uh, to the four inch pipe so let's go ahead and disassemble uh, the kit here real quick there's just two Phillips head screws up top we pop those out all right take our lid off and then inside you'll see that there are Two of these drain adapters, as well as a plug. We'll talk about the plug here in just a minute. And then, as you can see here, uh, on this uh, on the drain adapter itself, uh, this is the back side. And on the front side, uh, there's this uh, line and a gap. There's kind of an inside circle and an outside circle. And at first glance, it looks as though uh, okay. Well, I'll just take my uh, four-inch corrugated drain pipe, slip it down here into the uh, into this gap. And then I'll just attach it to the box uh, and everything should be good. But there's a problem with that. Because you notice on one end, I've got my nice full kind of four inch throat here uh, on my drain pipe. But when I put the insert uh, in here as it comes from the factory, you'll notice this is a bit tighter. This has been constricted down to a three inch. So obviously we're not able to make full use of the, uh, the capacity of the drain, the drain hose. So as you uh, look on the look on the surface here on the inside you'll see it says knockout for use with four inch pipes and uh, the challenge is is that it's not immediately clear like okay what do you actually do and how do you actually do this and uh, I was a little concerned about you know trying this out and screwing it up or breaking it uh, but then I decided to go ahead and give it a go uh, which is generally how you learn how to do things and you often break things in the process but that's how you learn so Anyway, on the inside here, you'll see four arrows. It says knockout for use. So there's arrow here, 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 and here. And there's a, a bit of a groove that those are pointing to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our screwdriver. We're going to set it down inside of the, uh, the groove here. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a smack on each one of these. And as you do that, uh, you'll notice that it puts a, uh, a small hole uh, in, the, in the plastic there, which is what we want. So we'll go ahead and knock one there, move around to the next arrow, I'll put it down into the, uh, into the groove, give it a smack again, rotate it around, <clears throat> and then one more time. All right, great, you say, but it hasn't come out yet. Well, just in front of those knockouts, uh, where I put the, uh, the divot in front of the arrow, there's another uh, little solid bar uh, here as well. So now what we want to do is put it back down and we're going to take the screwdriver and put it on top of this little bar and we're going to give it a smack again. All right. And what you'll start to see, you'll start to see this thing separate because actually the little line of plastic that's holding this on is pretty thin uh, and fragile. You just got to smack it enough. Two. And we'll give it one more here. There, and with three smacks, it's out. So sometimes it takes three, sometimes it takes four. Uh, that one was pretty easy. So there you go, it pops out with three, and uh, you are pretty well good to go. Now, we come back and put our drain hose in here, like this. Uh, as you can see, we now have use of the full four inch pipe uh, without any restriction from that three inch pipe adapter. So that's fantastic, we're, we're good to go. So now we'll go ahead and uh, come back to our box here. And in my application, I'm only going to have uh, water leaving the box in one direction. So I'll have the gutter come down, dump the water in. So we're gonna go ahead and take the, uh, take the outlet adapter. You see you got these four slanted tabs here. There's kind of four gaps in the box. So we'll go ahead and slide these in. These things can be a little bit tight sometimes. So we'll give it a turn and uh, brace that in there. And there you go. Now that one's, uh, that one's all set to go. Now on the other side, uh, we're not going to be, we don't want any water to exit this, so we want to plug this up. And particularly, you'll see that this plug uh, just kind of sets in here, and uh, the water is going to be going into the box and trying to push out of the box, so we want it to 
push against the plate, uh, not into it. Now, at first I was just kind of setting them in there uh, and then reassembling it, but the more I looked at it, I noticed that these things actually uh, pop out pretty easily. And I can see over time, uh, with a lot of use, weather, rain, uh, change in temperatures, this thing could eventually pop out and then I'm gonna get soil uh, and water and everything else kind of coming in and making a mess out of the box. So what I'm gonna do, oops, uh, in order to go ahead and seal this up, I'm just gonna get a little bit of uh, silicone caulk. You know, basically what we want is just kind of a light adhesive uh, to, to kind of hold this into place over time. I don't think it needs to be anything extraordinary uh, or anything special. So we'll just put a, put a thin bead of uh, silicone caulk around this and that should give us enough of an adhesive to hold this in there uh, and keep it from slipping out over time. So we'll go ahead and stick this in there now. That should be good, that'll go ahead and dry uh, and then I don't think that'll be uh, popping out to go anywhere. So once we've got that done, again, we want the water pressure to be pushing against this plate. So we're gonna put this one on the inside of the box as such. Line up your tabs and give it a good twist. Just look the left similar to the last one here. Oops, this one's not, not wanting to go. Oh, we got one of our uh, one of our tabs here. Looks like it got bent somehow or another. I'm gonna break it. So I'm gonna pull that back a little bit. Got damaged somewhere along the way. Go ahead and put that in there. Give it a twist. All right. And now we are locked in place. Water won't go out that way. The caulk will hold our plug in. <clears throat> all right, so we're all set to go. Now, the next thing we need to do is to drill some uh, holes uh, into the bottom of the drain box. As the water comes in through the grate, most of it will be coming out through the drain pipe, but when it's done raining, there'll still be a, a bit. If we didn't do anything, there'd be a bit of water standing in the bottom of the box, and we don't want that. We don't want mosquitoes and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and grab our drill. <clears throat> we're going to drill a few holes into the bottom of the box. I think I've got a quarter inch bit in here, which should be should be sufficient. I'll go ahead and put one hole right in the middle. And then I come out kind of to 12 o'clock. Uh, three o'clock. Six o'clock. Nine o'clock. Put four holes there and then come out again to the corners. Drill one hole in each of the corner. And there you go. All right. Now we've got uh, nine holes in the bottom. That should give us plenty of uh, drainage uh, after the uh, the rain settles. We'll let all that uh, percolate out. So the water will go through the holes and then underneath the box and put in the ground. We're going to have uh, between four to six inches of gravel, uh, and I probably will put a little bit of landscape fabric uh, on on top of the gravel and underneath it uh, to keep the soil from clogging up the gravel over time as well. So we're done with that. Just grab the lid. Go ahead and stick the lid back on. Grab our two screws. Uh, we're able to manage to put those. Uh, here we go. And uh, go ahead and line them up. Oops, wrong drill. One. One. And two. And there you go. So that is the NDS 1200. Uh, specifically the 1200B kit, uh, 12 inch by 12 inch catch basin with the uh, four inch knockout there, or excuse me, the four inch pipe adapter with the three inch knockout. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. I had looked all over the internet and was not able to find any documentation on actually how to do that knockout. So uh, hopefully this will be useful for you. So good luck to you and your project and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.